Hello and welcome to this MaxQDA video tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how you can use MaxQDA to conduct literature reviews. MaxQDA can make the process of getting an overview of the current state of research in your field far easier and more generally can help you to write academic texts more efficiently. So let's get started. Let's assume that you have a specific research interest or research question in mind. Your first port of call will usually be an online database, which gives you access to relevant publications. The literature you're looking for will generally be available in two forms. On the one hand, publishers and libraries provide you with the available literature's metadata. This metadata includes, for example, the author, title, publication date, and an abstract. You don't have to enter this bibliographic data manually. As a rule, these online catalogues offer export options of this compiled data in RIS format, or Research Information System format. You can then import this RIS file into MaxQDA using this button right here. and analyze the metadata as you would analyze any other data in MaxQDA. But today we'll be focusing on the second option, working with the content of the articles, books, and publications themselves. These are usually available as PDF files, which you can either download from a website or create yourself by scanning them. If you want to scan the text yourself, please remember that you'll only be available to analyze them as normal in MaxQDA if you run them through a text recognition or OCR program once you've scanned them and before you import them into MaxQDA. If you don't do this, the text in the PDF can't be selected because it's only available as an image. In that case, you can still code and analyze the PDF exactly as you would code and analyze images in MaxQDA. But you can't use any of the functions that are based on text recognition. For example, text searches, creating word clouds, or copying individual text segments. But even when you've run the PDF through a text recognition program, the recognized text layer doesn't always match the visible layer of the PDF. So it's important that you check the quality of the text recognition layer before importing the PDF into MaxQDA by selecting part of the text in the PDF file and pasting it into a text document. Otherwise, you may be in for an unpleasant surprise later when using the search function or when copying individual segments. If you want to analyze a large number of PDFs or PDF files that are themselves quite big, it may be useful to save all the PDF files larger than 5 megabytes as external files to your MaxQDA project. This keeps your project file small and makes it easier to share it with your colleagues. Once you've imported a PDF file, you can link it to the corresponding RIS entry via a document link. So just select the title, right click, and choose Insert Document Link. Then repeat the same in the PDF file. We can then jump directly between the bibliographic information and the full text with a simple mouse click. You can now draw on the full range of qualitative and mixed methods functions that MaxQDA has to offer. To start with, it might be interesting to first color code certain passages with a highlighter. You can then also add notes at the edge of the text in which you can record your interpretations or thoughts on the respective passage. These notes, called memos in MaxQDA, work like classic post-it notes. But thanks to the Memo Manager in the Reports tab, you'll never lose them, and you can easily search for them, filter, and sort them so that you're always able to find the appropriate notes on a particular topic or article. Now let's look at the central function of MaxQDA, which you can also use for literature reviews, coding your data. From a technical perspective, coding in MaxQDA is very simple. You select a text passage and drag it onto the corresponding code. You can find more details on this procedure in our Getting Started video tutorial, or in two other tutorials, 
one of which is called Coding Qualitative Data with Max QDA 2018, and Qualitative Research Organizing the Code System with Max QDA 2018. By coding your literature in this way, you then have all important information at your beck and call when writing your review. When you double click on the respective code or use the retrieval function, you can compile all the corresponding text passages and start writing the chapter immediately. This way you can quickly find suitable quotations for the introduction, details on the methods used for a methods chapter, as well as details concerning theories and hypotheses on the themes covered in the literature. There are countless features and functions in MaxQDA that are based on analyzing codes. For example, you can write summaries of the coded segments in individual documents, and then summarize this summary even further later. Several descriptive functions also enable you to measure the frequency, scope, and combined occurrences of codes. Aside from these tools available in the Analysis tab, it's also important to mention MaxQDA's visual tools. They let you visually display the frequency of codes in individual documents or entire document groups, as well as the combined occurrence of codes. The video tutorial called Qualitative Data Analysis Visualizing Data with MaxQDA 2018 gives you an overview of these very useful functions. Instead of coding manually, you can also code texts automatically using the lexical search function, offering placeholders, wildcards, lemma lists, and so-called regular expressions. The lexical search function is a very powerful tool with which you can easily implement even the most complex search queries. Finally, you can graduate from the qualitative to the quantitative or mixed methods level by using MaxQDA's mixed methods features or the stats module for descriptive and inferential statistical analyses. If you have any questions about the functions I've talked about, you can either access the relevant section in our online manual here, or visit one of our workshops, or even visit our online forum. Whichever you choose, we of course wish you all the very best with your project.